Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Frank Constant. This is another episode of Wild wow Moment. Tonight's episode is bittersweet, however. It's bittersweet. The bitter comes because tonight we have to conclude the five-part series, Terrain Denial. That's the bitter part. The sweet part, folks. Listen, next week, we're coming back with a fresh, 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 brand new rhema word from God just for you, tailor-made for you. God is going to give us something fresh next week. Stick around for that, folks. Now, tonight, we're closing out Terrain Denial. We've given you tools already. We have four tools in the toolbox that's going to keep the enemy from gaining territory against you. And tonight's tool, we're talking about renewing the mind. We're talking about changing your stinking thinking. We're talking about changing your mindset, switching your paradigm. We're talking, whatever, however you want to shape it up, folks, we're talking about the mind tonight. And, and talking about the mind, I would like to give you a quick analogy of changing of the mind. As you all know by watching Wild Moment, I was in the United States Army for 20 years. And when I went into the United States Army, I had my own mindset. I had a way of doing things. I had a way of thinking. But the way that I thought, the way that I did things was not going to help me to be a productive soldier in the United States Army. Therefore, when I went in 1992 to Fort Knox, Kentucky, they put me through what they call basic training. In the basic training, they broke me down and they built me back up to be the soldier that they were looking for. And one of the biggest things, I mean, they did the physical stuff, yes. But one of the biggest things that they worked on was my mind. They changed the way I thought. My thought process had to change in order for me to be the soldier that they were looking for. So fast forward 20 years. Fast forward to November 30th, 2012. This is when I retired. When I retired and entered back into the civilian workforce, now that my thought process has changed, it's like mind-boggling to me the way that the civilians operate. Not saying anything derogatory about anyone, but the mindset of the civilian population and the mindset of civilian leadership, civilian management was completely different than that of a military person. So now I'm sitting here struggling in the civilian workforce because I'm taking orders from people who are doing things that to me seem backwards. It doesn't seem like the logical way to do things because their mindset is different than mine. So what I'm trying to show you is that my mind, in order for me to be a soldier for 20 years and make it to the retirement age, I had to have a changing of the mind. And we're talking about that tonight on this episode of Wow Moment as we close out the five-part series, Terrain Denial, right here on Wow Moment tonight. Hi, I'm Karima with Word of Wisdom Ministry. Thank you for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. And now for another inspiring episode of Wow Moment with our host, Frank Coxton. Well, here we go, family. Here we go. We are closing it out tonight. We talked about praise. We talked about prayer. We talked about fasting. And we talked last week about studying God's word. Tonight, on this episode of Wild Moment, we're talking about renewing the mind. It's already in progress, folks. So turn your attention to the screen and watch the previously recorded episode. I'm watching with you. Let's watch this thing tonight. I'll see you on the other side. This war that we're fighting is not a natural war. As a matter of fact, since we're talking about the mind, since we're talking about terrain denial, since we're talking about warfare against the enemy, can I tell you that out of all the places, all the battlefields, because you know when there's war, inside of a war, there's many battles that take place inside of a war. But the majority of the battles that we have in this war against Satan take place in the mind. It is a battle of the mind. And 1 Corinthians, excuse me, not 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry. And Corinthians, the 10th chapter, 
And the fourth through the fifth verse, I got the King James Version here, but it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And verse 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And then he says, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. He's grabbing those thoughts that are in your head and he's bringing them to the obedience of Christ because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. God is trying to equip us. That is why he gave me this message to rain denial. He wants to equip us for this fight. We are in a fight for our lives, for our spiritual lives. We are in a fight for our eternal souls. Where will our souls be? Do we give in and find ourselves in the lake of fire? Or do we fight and make it into heaven? This is the question of life. What are we going to choose? What are we going to do? We have a lot to lose but we have a lot more to gain. Let's look at Romans. This is a well-known passage of scripture. Romans, the 12th chapter in the second verse, the Bible says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We have to renew our minds. Uh, I used to hear the phrase uh, from my former pastor. He used to always say, stop your stinking thinking. Change your stinking thinking. We have to do a paradigm shift. We have to change our mindset. We can no longer think the way that we used to think. Oh no, not if we're the redeemed of the Lord. Our mindset has to change. We can't walk around with all this negative baggage in our minds. Satan's ploy, Satan's scheme, Satan's device is negativity. Every time he comes, he's bringing some sort of negativity. He's never bringing positivity. He's bringing negativity. And we walk around and we carry his negative stuff in our minds. We have to renew our minds. We have to have a renewed focus, a renewed way of thinking. We have to change our stinking thinking. We can no longer think the way that we used to think. We can no longer walk around with our minds filled with negativity. God is trying to take us to higher heights. He's trying to take us to deeper depths in him but we can't go there with the baggage that is in our minds. If we want to win this war against the enemy, if we want to deny Satan territory, if we want to deny him to reign in our lives, then we must renew our minds. We must gain control over our minds. It's a must. He cannot control our minds. He cannot have space in our minds. He cannot occupy our minds. We must get control over our minds. And Proverbs, the 23rd chapter and the seventh verse, this is so often misquoted. The, the misquote says, uh, for as a man thinketh, so is he. But the scripture actually says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So is he. So what is that saying? That's saying that whatever we think is what we are. So if Satan is telling you that you're defeated and you begin to believe that you're defeated, then you are defeated. The Bible says to speak those things that are not as if they were. So why wouldn't that also go with thinking those things? We have to think, if, if it's not right yet, just go ahead and put in your mind that it is right. And speak it out of your mouth, of course, but put it in your mind that it is right. If, it's, if you're not where you want to be, put it in your mind that you are already. 
Stop thinking about the fact that you're not where you want to be and start saying to yourself, I'm there or I'm, I'm closer than I was yesterday. Change up, listen to this. Listen, it's easy to say that I, I, I haven't arrived and, and I haven't gained any ground. I haven't got anywhere. I've only went this, this little bit in this, this period of time. I've only moved this far and, and that's not much and I'm not doing anything. It's so easy to do that. But all we have to do is switch our paradigm, switch our thinking and say, listen, I moved this little bit. I moved further than what I was yesterday. I've improved. I'm a better me today than I was yesterday. I've taken a step from yesterday. I have moved forward. I'm progressing. We have to say these things. We have to say them because they're in our hearts. They're in our minds because we're thinking them. So we have to speak them out as well. We have to change our paradigm. We have to change our thought process. We have to renew our minds. And let me show you how good God is. He's so good that in his word, he even left us instructions on what to think. Listen here, in Philippians the fourth chapter, the eighth verse, this is amazing. He said, finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, What's true? The only thing that is true, the only thing that has no fault, no lie, no ability to is God and his word. Think on these things. Think on it. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. He's given us the roadmap. He's given us clear cut instruction here. His word is telling us exactly how to have our minds every day. These are the things that we should be thinking on. So when that doctor comes and he tells you that you have cancer or the other C word that's floating around COVID-19 or whatever the doctor comes and tells you about yourself or a loved one, he said, think on the things that are of a good report. If the doctor gave you a bad report, the good report is that God is a healer. That's the good report. The good report is that God loves you. The good report is that God hasn't forsaken you or forgotten you. That's what you should be thinking on. So when you hear the man say the negative thing, the negative thing comes inside of this ear, let it pass through to the other side and come out because your mind is thinking on the good report. Uh, my uncle, I, I normally don't put this out there, but my uncle, the gospel singer, Norman Hutchins, he, he sung a song many years ago. Whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe today? Think on the good reports today. Listen, he said, think on whatsoever things are lovely. Stop thinking about the things that are, are dreadful. The things that are harmful, the things that are ugly, the things that, that are miserable. Stop thinking about all these things and focus. Just, just switch your head back around, get lined back up, focus on the things that are lovely in this world. There's a lot of ugliness in this world, but there's a lot of lovely in this world. And we, we're missing the lovely because we're walking with those shades on and we're not seeing clearly and we're walking past some beautiful and lovely things in life and we're missing it all because of our paradigm. We need to change it. We need to think on the things that are lovely because they're all around us, but we'll miss them because our focus is so busy looking at the things that are harmful or bad or terrible or whatever, disgusting. Those things that are that are hurting us, those things that are breaking our hearts, those things that are upsetting us, we're, we're so focused on that. 
And I say we because I get I, I get caught up in it too. It's easy to cut on the news and I see stuff and it just pulls me to a certain place and I have to shake it off like the donkey and step up. I can't sit there and waddle in that negativity. Whatsoever things are pure. Think on these pure things. Think on them. Whatsoever things are just. Fair. There's a lot of unfairness. Listen, we got protests going on everywhere. And we got people that have, I mean, completely different mindsets on what's going on out there. But it's, it's the bottom line, it's about fairness. Fair, just. Everybody wants to be treated equally. But just think on the just things in life. Think on it. If you can't find anything that's just, God is just. The fact that you're still breathing right now, God is just. God is merciful. So think on him. But think on it. Think on the things that are honest. There's a lot of things that are lies and untruths out there. A lot of false stuff out there. And the new, the new phrase, fake news. The new phrase is going around. There's a lot of fake and false stuff that's going around out there. But let's think on the things that are honest. Let's stop looking for men to fix this world. I hear everybody, especially the church, and they're, they're, they're arguing about which political side of the fence you need to be on. Can I tell you something? Neither one of those guys are the answer. Neither one of them are close to being the answer. It's, it's, it's like playing the lottery or putting your money in a slot machine. You're just taking a chance. It doesn't matter which way you go, actually, because neither one of them are the answer. The answer is Jesus Christ. That's the answer. I, 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 don't, I don't hear that coming from anybody. That's the answer. It is Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. I, I sure hope you're enjoying today's broadcast. If you would allow me, please, just to interrupt the broadcast just for a few moments, I want to talk to you today about what Wild Moment has to offer you. And before I get into telling you what we have, can I please tell you thank you? Thank you for being a viewer, and thank you for those of you who listen on podcasts. We want to say thank you, because if it wasn't for you, then what would the program be? Now, the program, Wow Moment, it is a television show. It is not a church. We are not here to uh, take anybody's membership or, or not here to pastor anyone, but we are here to just be your brother in Christ to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you. Folks, this is a television show that teaches the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, we also want to connect with you in prayer. So we want to offer, we solicit to you our prayers. So we're, we're, we're offering you our prayers. If you are standing in need of any type of prayer, please call us today or send us an email. All the information is on the screen. Call us today or send us an email because we would love to partner with you in prayer. We have seen God do the miraculous. Mountains move at the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to partner with you for whatever mountain, whatever circumstance you might be facing. Now, we also want to help you out if you're trying to find a church home. If you're having problems finding that church where God is directing you, we will join with you in prayer, but we will also help you in this process. You might not understand this church thing, or one church might not seem different than the other church, or you might not understand all of this stuff. We will help you with this process. Reach out to us today, and we will help you. We also want to give you the opportunity to decide what messages you hear on this television show, Wow Moment. This is a, a, a community effort here. We're allowing you to email us or send comments if you're struggling in an issue, if you're studying something and you want clarification, uh, if you just want to hear more in-depth or get more insight on a particular subject, well, you can email us 
or you can message us if you find us on social media and we will take those comments or emails and we will put them in message format and we will deliver them as one of our television programs. So we are here to just communicate with you and to join with you. We want to partner with you in every aspect. We want to help you on your spiritual journey. We're like, we're, like I said, not here to take away from any church. We want to add, add to the church, enhance the church by giving you during the week something that you can hold on to to get you to another day. Now, we've moved from one network to Kingdom Purpose Television. That's right, folks. We are now on Kingdom Purpose TV. And what better place for us to be when we are operating in Kingdom Purpose? Everything we do, our every purpose that we do is kingdom purpose. We are kingdom minded here on Wild Moment. And we're on Kingdom Purpose TV. Listen, Saturdays at 7 p.m. Saturdays at 7 p.m. You can go to kingdompurposetv.com and you can watch live there. Or if you have an Android or Apple, you can go to the store and you can get it from the app store and download the Kingdom Purpose TV app and catch us every Saturday. Listen, folks, every Saturday at 7 p.m., God has given us fresh frame of words, and we can't wait to share them with you. We can't wait. Every Saturday at 7 p.m., we can't wait to share the frame of word that God has given us with you. We thank you. We love you. Continue to watch. Continue to listen. We love it. We love it. We love it. And if you would like to donate, listen. We need all the help we can get to continue bringing the quality programming that God has allowed us to bring. So if you want to contribute to this quality programming, then please, the easiest and fastest way, you can either mail us something, but the easiest and fastest way is through Cash App. My name, dollar sign Frank Costin, dollar sign F-R-A-N-K-C-O-S-T-O-N. You can donate today. It doesn't matter the size. It doesn't matter what the size of the donation is. Everything helps, and we will continue bringing quality programming your way. We love you. God loves you. Now, let's continue with today's program. Well, that's it. That's it. That's the five-part series, Terrain Denial. I am praying that in listening to the five-part series, Terrain Denial, that you have applied these five tools to your life. Apply them to your life. Take them serious. Apply them to your life, and you will see that the enemy does not have time to set up those major, major weapons that he's been using against you. Now, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior today, if you're wandering around in this world and you're not holding hands with the Master, and you want to be saved. If you heard something today that pricked your heart, if you heard something from a message on Sunday at your local church or maybe on, on some television broadcast, or maybe you just feel pricked in your heart, well, let me tell you something, my brother. Let me tell you something, my sister. Today, all you have to do today is find yourself in the waters of baptism. God says in his word, Jesus says clearly that we are to be born of water and of spirit. We have to be born again of the water and the spirit. And he left the keys to the first church. He left the keys to salvation. He left those keys in the hands of Peter. And Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This thing is for you, because the Bible says it promises unto you and to your children and to all who are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. He's waiting on you today. I'm coming to the end of today's program, and I want to close out in prayer today. God, we thank you right now for every viewer. We thank you, Lord, for every listener that would take their time out to watch or listen to Wow Moment episodes. God, we thank you for your people today. Father, there are many that are hurting today. There are many that are hurting because of loss in any kind of way. 
It could be the loss of a loved one, loss of a job, loss of a home. Lord Jesus, loss of, of just health, God. Lord, whatever it is, God, we ask, Lord, that you would, God, recoup, Lord, whatever they lost. Lord, restore unto them the years that the locust and the canker worm have destroyed. God, give them back 10, 20, 100 fold that which they have lost, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, I speak life and I speak life more abundantly over the listeners and the viewers right now. I speak it right now. God, loose the power of the Holy Ghost, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, somebody needs to be saved today. And God, somebody has halted between two opinions today. But God, I pray right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that they be unloosed from the shackles of hesitation right now. And they would step right now into the arms of the Almighty today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, somebody has tears in their eyes and hurt in their heart. I pray, God, that they would have the peace that passes all understanding, overtake them even now as they're hearing my voice, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, do it right now. And God, I pray a special blessing over this program and over Wild Moment, God. I pray, God, that you would catapult it, God, and launch it, God, into places, God, that I would never even fathom or dream that it would be able to reach, God. Do it right now, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch every viewer, touch every listener, God. Whatever their situation is, raise your hands as I'm praying right now. Raise your hands. Whatever your situation is, I pray by the power of the living God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority of the word of God, that you have everything that you need be supplied to you right now. God, I pray even the desires of their heart be met today in the name of Jesus Christ. Healing, deliverance, God, salvation, Lord. Set it free upon your people, even now, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We love you, we praise you, and we give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. You are God and God alone. There is no other God. We praise you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's episode of Wow Moment with Frank Costin. We hope that you were blessed by this message. Please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell on YouTube. Like us on Facebook and listen to us on podcasts at Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Radio Plus. We want to interact with you, so please leave us a comment, prayer request, and a praise report. If you are looking for a church home, we will help you with that as well. We would love to have you as part of this ministry. There are three ways to become a partner. One, subscribe to our channel. Two, share our link with at least three family members and three friends. Three, you can also partner by making a donation by a cash app at dollar sign Frank Costin. We look forward to joining you again with another encouraging message. Until then, God loves you and so do we.